General Pipe Cleaner's Easy Rooter Junior. The right machine for clearing wash tubs, small floor drains, roof vents, and other medium-sized drains. This video gives you a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using the Easy Rooter Junior. It is not a complete list of all the recommended safety procedures and will not provide specific instructions for every application. Ask your rental dealer for a complete list of safety procedures. He can also give you more specific instructions to solve your particular clogged drain problem. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Easy Rooter Junior can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. To determine whether you're using the proper drain cleaning tool, you must first locate the source of the problem. If only one drain in the house is backed up, the clog is likely to be in the smaller line leading directly from that drain. If the clog is in a laundry tub, small floor drain, or accessible through a roof stack, the Easy Rooter Junior is the appropriate tool to use. If several drains are affected, the blockage is probably in a larger line common to those drains. If this is the case, the Easy Rooter Junior is not the right tool for the job. Consult your rental dealer for a model designed to clear larger drain lines. Never use the Easy Rooter Junior to clear drains clogged by tree roots. The Easy Rooter Junior provides a safe, clean way to clear medium-sized drains. However, as with any power tool, certain safety precautions are necessary. Remember these safety rules as you operate the machine. Check the power cord to make sure there are no cuts or frays. Make sure the grounding prong is attached to the plug. Be sure the machine is plugged into a grounded outlet. Verify that the ground is connected. If the Easy Rooter Junior's power cord is not long enough, use a three-wire heavy-duty extension cord. Make sure its ground prong is in place. Using an ungrounded extension cord is very dangerous. Test the ground fault circuit interrupter before each use. Press the test button, then press the reset button. The light will indicate that it is operating properly. Do not operate the machine while standing in water. Wear leather gloves to protect your hands when you are handling the cable. Do not use cloth gloves. Wear safety glasses or goggles to protect your eyes from any debris thrown from the rotating cable or drain opening. Operating the Easy Rooter Junior is a one-person job. Never have someone else operate the foot pedal. This can result in serious injury. Never use the machine in a drain that has a chemical drain cleaner in it. Know how to shut off the machine in an emergency. Choosing the right cutters for your clogged drain problem is important. Your rental dealer will supply the appropriate tools for your needs. The arrowhead and inch and a half U cutters are good cutters to start with. They are ideal for cutting and scraping. The retrieving tool is for removing loose objects that have been lost down the drain. The two inch U-cutter blade is a good finishing tool. It scrapes the walls of the pipe for a more thorough cleaning job. Start with the smaller cutters, then change to the larger cutters after you've gotten the water flowing. To attach a cutter, first turn off the power switch, then Remove the screw on the connector at the end of the cable. Underneath the screw is a lock washer. Make sure you don't lose it. Put the cutter in the slot. Replace the lock washer and connecting screw, then tighten the screw firmly. Before you begin the job, check out where the line goes. If possible, use an opening beyond the trap. Place the machine no farther than two feet from the drain opening to avoid cable whipping and kinking. If you can't place it that close to the drain, run the cable through a metal pipe to prevent the cable from whipping. Loosen the thumb screw on the front collar of the cage. Pull out the cable and push it into the drain until it won't go in any farther. Then pull out a little extra cable from the cage so that the cable is bowed. Tighten the thumb screw on the cage. 
make sure the air foot pedal is placed so you can reach it easily. Turn the power switch on the machine to the forward position. With both hands on the cable, start the machine by depressing the foot pedal. Stop and start the machine a few times to get the feel of the pedal. Then work the cable into the drain. Guide the cable into the drain with a firm, even pressure. When the cable slack is gone, stop the motor by releasing the foot pedal. Loosen the thumb screw and pull out more cable. Tighten the thumb screw. Depress the foot pedal and run the Easy Rooter Junior in forward again. Don't force the cable into the drain. You won't clear the line any faster and you could damage the cable or seriously injure yourself. The cable must turn freely as the cage rotates. If it jams, the cable will build up torque, start to buckle, and then, in the blink of an eye, twist itself into a series of loops. If your hands are caught in the loop, you risk severe injury. Again, do not force the cable. If the cable begins to buckle or twist, stop by taking your foot off the pedal. Then, rotate the cage in the opposite direction to untwist the cable. Push any excess cable back into the cage before continuing. Go slow. Again, don't force the cable. If the cage stops turning, yet the motor is still running, you're forcing the cable. The safety clutch will slip until you stop the machine and pull back on the cable. Push any excess cable into the cage. When you meet resistance in the drain, move the cable back and forth until the resistance lessens and the cable moves freely again. Always keep the Easy Rooter Junior motor switch in the forward position, whether you're feeding cable into the drain or pulling it out. Use reverse only to release the cable if it gets stuck. If the cable gets stuck, switch the motor to reverse. Put both hands on the cable and run the machine for only a few seconds at a time. Running the machine in reverse longer can damage the cable. When the cable pulls free, put the switch back in forward and loosen the thumb screw. Continue slowly working the cable into the drain a few inches at a time until the drain is clear. Run water into the drain to wash away any cuttings and clean off the cable. After the drain is clear, slowly pull the cable out of the drain and feed it back into the cage. Make sure the motor switch is in the forward position. When you get close to the end of the cable, stop the machine and pull the cable out of the drain carefully. If you leave the machine unattended, switch the machine off and pull out the plug. If you have any questions or difficulties, ask your rental dealer. He'll be glad to give you further assistance. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.